Welcome to the Hillbilly Homestead, the worst homestead on YouTube. Today we're gonna to be extracting honey. Let's get to it. Effectively, we have $200 for these. We pulled out the burr comb. We only had one frame that we were comfortable taking. The high was doing really, really well. By the end of this video, you are gonna see me set up this honey frame extractor, extract some honey. Don't do exactly what I'm gonna do because you might have a different frame. There are links below in the description for things on Amazon. I got this one for Dr. Leo because I don't use the standard Langstroth hive. I use Layens Frames hives. We needed uh, an extractor large enough that can accommodate that. And the cool thing is I can extract any type of hives. So I'm gonna be setting this guy up. Again, take the lessons learned and the generalities because whatever extractor you are using uh, is probably gonna be similar, but not exactly the same. And so I'm gonna show you my process. If you have something that works, keep on doing it. This is how I do things and the success point that I have. And so we'll keep on, keep it on. Let's get to it. Okay, that took about 20 minutes to set up and this is the first time doing it, I had no tools, but here's a gist of the way it works. So you're gonna have your frames. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna decap the frames, right? So I'm gonna set this here and we're gonna pretend this is a full frame. I'm gonna take my knife right here and then I would just very gently cut the caps off. And the reason I'm doing it on a baking sheet is because you're, we're gonna store all that and we're gonna send it to the press. Then pretending that that's done, we're gonna take this and we're gonna set it gently into the extractor. If you guys come take a look at this, you'll see that there's, this is a three frame extractor and you don't wanna just have, if you can prevent doing it, you wanna have all three frames with frames in them, all right? So you're gonna very gently cut one side. You're gonna put the side that you cut facing away. You're gonna see that here in a second. And then just for demonstration purposes, the way these work, the manual ones, they independently spin, but if you push them in, and lock them, and then you can spin them. Well, as it's spinning, the honey is gonna be thrown with centrifugal force against the walls, and then that is then gonna drain down to the bottom. The bottom of this guy is actually a concave shape, and it's forcing the honey to the edges. And then here is your honey gate. So you'll slowly open this up, the honey will come out. Now, where does it go from here? Well, this is a kit I have, and if we were doing a whole bunch of honey, we would use this. Here's a secondary bucket kit, right? I think this was like 20 bucks on Amazon or something. Everything except for the bucket, this is the knives, this is the uh, grate and everything, the whole shebang. So the way this would work is you'd have this sit under your bucket, right? You've got your several screens. Here's a coarse screen, here's your fine screen. The honey is gonna go open, It'll come out and it's gonna pre-strain out all the weird stuff. The the bugs, the you know, if there's bees still in there, there's larva, that will get captured by this, and the clean honey will then go into the bucket. At that point, you come up here, you open your jar, and then again, you would be able to meter and control that for going into here. So that is the gist of it. We're gonna go ahead and get started. If your knife, as you're cutting the frame, if your knife can't reach a section of it, they have this extractor as well, and you can basically just decap, it's a decapping fork, and you just scrape all that clean. Remember, we're gonna do on this baking sheet uh, for fun, and I'm probably gonna go straight through this into this guy rather than the bucket, but we'll see how I feel here in a little bit. So we'll go ahead and get started with the first one.
All right, guys, now that this is done here, that's opened up. We're gonna push this in. And very carefully, we're gonna push this in here and start spinning. You don't wanna spin too quickly because it could cause them to implode. Look at the walls. It's slinging the honey up against the walls. We stopped in the middle of everything and we are building this frame. Basically, if something is lopsided, uh, then this will shake violently. So we're building a T-frame and we're gonna set it up top and mount it to it real quick. That should solve a lot of the problems. All right, so we have decided that we're gonna go ahead and use the bucket. You can see all the wax cappings and junk and stuff that's in there. You wanna make sure these are screwed down, closed, and you lift this up and just open this up. Look at that. Golden. Wow. Look at this. We've got Mrs. Hillbilly Millionaire here. I made her angry, but that's, uh, that's a normal day. So, that, uh, this, oh my gosh, look at that, honey. There's liquid gold right here. We actually did have quite a bit of honey, about maybe a fifth or a fourth of the bucket is full. Um, because it's already strained, we're gonna go ahead and do this. So, and this is Hillbilly Millionaires. We're gonna do that. Nope. Just lift up. Hey. And then start closing it. Hey, look at that. The first little bit. All right, guys, our final haul was two, four, six, seven. There's actually eight because I gave one away to my mom. And this stuff, this is a special super concentrated jar where we crushed all the wax cappings and uh, saved all that. This is going to have way more pollen count in it, way more really good stuff. Uh, so this is a special jar. Um, so all in all, if you were to sell this, at least in our local farmer's market, they're $25. Uh, for a uh, wide mouth quart like this, a uh, wide mouth uh, pint like this, 16 ounces a piece. Um, so on the screen here is what is that? Uh, there's eight, eight times 25. Effectively, we have $200 for these. We still have another uh, full jar left in here. We're saving that for my uncle uh, to pour out. We have this fancy jar. It's a little bit more than that, probably another 50 bucks, 250 bucks. Remember, this is just an inspection. We pulled up the burr comb. We only had one frame that we were comfortable taking. The hive was doing really, really well. We actually probably could have pulled a lot more resources from that specific hive, but we decided not to. And we have all those, uh, all that wax resources that we have uh, as well, which is super exciting. And in fact, uh, here's some of it here. Uh, I use it for lip balm and some of the best stuff that's out there. I have an announcement. I've got merch coming down the pipe. So by the time you're watching this, maybe it's already here. And I have just created the membership section. You can have some cool emojis or GIFs. Check it out down below. I also have a link to my Patreon below if you guys want to support me. If you like this kind of stuff, please, best thing you can do, share it with someone. Help me bypass the YouTube algorithm. Some dude behind the little piece of code can just sit there and whoop, videos disappear. But if you share it with someone you think is value, you bypass all of that. Guys, thank you so much. If just a few of you, I mean just less than 1% of you, supported me at the lowest level, like three bucks a month or something, it would help me keep the channel alive. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, again, we're sharing with you how we do things. So many super smart people out there on YouTube have done this years, far better. Leave any comments, tips, and tricks below. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. I appreciate everything. Enjoy your summer. Go out there and grow something. Boom, bam, ba, da, ba, boom, bam, ba, boom, bam, ba,